We've read through many unfortunate books, but not any like this one. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this epic, awesome, but super unfortunate book. A series of unfortunate events, book the seventh, by Lemony Snicket himself. The Vile Village. Well, according to the ancient acronym, that uh, ancient saying, phrase, that says, It takes a village to raise a child. Many, many villages have decided that, that well, orphans could be adopted by the entire village. Yay! And, well, there, there's a problem with that. Because... You see, Vi Violet and Sunny and Claus Bedelia, the main characters, they now are going to a village and they get to choose which village they want to go to. And as they look at it, they see it. VFD. What the, what the words that haunted them for a long time. When the Quagamirs had captured, had been captured by the evil Count Olaf, they had shouted, VFD! VFD! And that still haunted them, and they wanted to find out what it was. And and now, there is this village called VFD. And they know that they need to check it out. But to their disappointment, it's not the VFD they had been looking for, and it's just a town full of people just observing crows and it's really just creepy and now the village of VFD thinks, thinks of everything as really different because since the orphans are now the entire town's kids they have to do all the chores of the town which makes no sense at all but uh, it's making sense right now well for them and now they have to do all every single trick I mean, every single chore in the entire village of VFD. And they meet a kind man named Hector, who is building a self-regenerating, or something like that, hot air balloon uh, moving home, and he wants to escape in it, escape the village in it. And Violet makes the finishing touches on the engine. Meanwhile, they are still trying to find the Quagamirs. Who is probably very near to them, near them, and a mysterious detective who, by the way, has a tattoo on his ankle, with an eye, and he has one eyebrow, and he also is Count Olaf, and there's a, a policewoman with a, with a mask, and she's really fashionable, and she's name is Esme, Esme Squalor, Olaf's girlfriend and these two have entered the scene again and this time they blame the Bedelladeers by s they frame an innocent man named Jakku Snicket a uh, very suspiciously Lemony Snicket's like brother and uh what Lemony Snicket exists in the book what the heck and whatever anyway Jakku Snicket it's framed to being Olaf but he is found dead in a pr in the prison that he was kept in and we were like what what happened and and really he had been killed by Count Olaf himself but they blame it on Sunny and uh, Sunny and Violet and Claus Bedelladeer which means that they are all officially on the run now and life is bad, and not even Mr. Pogue can protect them. And it's over. And the series can't get more unfortunate th than this. Can it? And the book ends with the Bedelladeer desperate. They manage to rescue the Quagamirs and send, him, send them away on Hector's um, moving mobile home. And but they are left alone. And this time, they decide to do something so risky. 
they go inside the back of Olaf's truck. And, well, yeah, that's what they do. And since they have nowhere to go anywhere and they have to get away from VFD, they did it. And that is pretty much it. And thinking about it, you got to read the book. I mean, it's so unfortunate. And I gotta warn you, it only gets more unfortunate. And like always, your book questioner and the book questioner. Personally, after reading this book, I am so tired of Count Olaf and Esme Squalor and all these pl plots and evil things. I'm just sick of them. And it'll only get worse from now on.